Hello everyone and welcome back to Shonky Lab. Yes, we're doing another episode and this is the end of term episode. This is the last episode in 2017. So fingers crossed for 2018. Fingers, you know, hopefully it'll be a lot, lot better year than it was. I, I, you know, for you guys, was it, was it a good year? My guest producers today? Hello. Yeah, it was for me because I started my new job and it's good. And, and it's not really new anymore because I'll, I'll have had it for a year come January. But yeah. And it was good for me because we got more beer money as a result. Nice one. So my guest producers today are Anne-Marie and we have Peter as well. So you know, thank Hello. you. For, Hello. Thank you very you much for stepping in. the price in. of one. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's, that's right. Thank you very, very much for stepping in at the very last moment. Uh, Lee had to, to step away for, for some reason. I think he, he needs a good night's sleep. So yeah, bless his little cotton socks. Oh. <laughs> I knew there'd be an R. <laughs> 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 right, so before we get into this, because we're going to just do, this is our version of pulling out the, the TV and putting our videos on at school. This is our version of pulling in your electronic games and bringing in Ludo and playing that at school because there's there's no other lessons to do. It's Christmas, it's just around the corner, so we're going to have some fun. And, well, I'm hoping this is going to be all right. You know, I've never tried this. It might be a massive car crush. I don't know. I've got fingers crossed, though, that it's going to be good. But before we get into this and play this game, I just wanted to go through a bit of news. I don't know if you guys heard. Did you hear about the guy that cemented his head into a microwave? Yes, in a microwave. What yes. the fuck was that about? Oh, thank goodness someone else knows about this. Well, I, so I've been trying to speak to people at work about this and trying to find their their opinions on it, and nobody really heard about it. But although it did make national news at, at yeah. one point, yeah, he cemented his head in a microwave. Yeah, he's and it was a, it was designed to be a like a, a lark with him and two mates, or was it three mates? I forget which. And they they made it they they padded out a section of the microwave for his head specifically so that he could breathe but then it was going to break his neck because when they filled it all with cement it was too heavy or something and they had to call the fire brigade and get him rescued yeah yeah wow it's it's a huge it's like doing their darwin awards episode isn't it really it is yeah if this has just happened a couple of weeks before then we would add this on definitely this guy has he's got a, a microwave and he thought it was Clearly a good idea to, to cement his head into it. Now, he's... <laughs> just like, why? What possesses you? Uh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll get on to other points about this in a minute because some of them are frightening. Now, they've been doing these... Uh, was it 12 days of Christmas? Or they were, they were going to be doing a stunt every week or every every day leading up to Christmas. Now, I've only found out this... Because my son subscribes to his YouTube channel, and they what, try the, the, the microwave cement head twat man has a YouTube channel. Oh yes, and they get quite. Is it called microwave cement head twat man? Because if not, it should from now on. <laughs> 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 I, yeah, I might just leave a comment saying that you know maybe you should change the name of it. <laughs> 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 but he. Yeah, they they've been doing them these pranks up and or hopefully doing it up until Christmas. And my boy subscribes to this, and he's been watching them and f finding them hilarious. And this particular one is where they they get a, a microwave, and he says he wants to cement his head into a microwave because you know that'll be funny. <laughs> what he actually does is get lots of polyfiller. Which isn't quite cement, but it, it's the external polyfiller, so it's gritty and it's a bit heavier than the lightweight stuff for indoor decoration. But, you know, frankly... This isn't much more sane. Well, yeah, I don't think he really knows the difference between them. <laughs> and what he's done, he, he's got a pipe for, so he can breathe, so he's thought ahead a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, only a little bit, but only until the point where he puts a plastic bag over his head. What? To, to protect himself from the cement. Now, <clears throat> then he dips his head into a microwave and his friends... How, how did he put... What, did he just open the door and stick his head in? 
Yes. And well, the, the microwave is on the floor and now there's only one way to get his head in and that's to go upside down. They clearly hadn't thought this through. <laughs> and <laughs> so <laughs> what the they, they fill the gaps around his head with this polyfiller stuff. And then they realize about 20 minutes in, no, he he can't stand like that forever because, you know, he, he's on his head and all the blood's going to rush to his head. <laughs> 20 minutes after. <laughs> they actually work this out. It's genius. Absolute genius. Anyway, so at one point, one of them goes off down the shops to get a hairdryer to, to dry this stuff out quicker <laughs> because it's not going off quick enough. <laughs> Right. And, so, and so they get they get hair dryer and they um start drying out the the cement slash polyfiller and then they're really surprised when it goes rock solid and there's mm. there's bits where they're going oh my days it's gone really hard and you're like oh honestly That's the guys whole point of the stuff? that what did you expect honestly what did you expect and then when he stands up and he's like yes yeah, it's, it's really heavy once once again <laughs> What did you expect? <laughs> <laughs> and then, then, oh, then, then shit gets real because then they start panicking because he can't breathe. <laughs> and so they, they get chisels and screwdrivers. And at one point they're trying to drill in underneath <laughs> his chin <laughs> to, to break this concrete. Oh, <laughs> uh, and th then it happened. I think they, they really started panicking and they got the fire brigade and ambulance out to, to smash it off. Now I'm quite disappointed. They didn't just get the jaws of life and just pop his head clean off. Mm. That would have been a much better ending, <laughs> but yeah, they, they pulled it out and he was, you know, he was having a laugh and he, he was like, Oh my days, I was going to die. I nearly died and all that sort of shit. But yeah, people are actually doing this to get views and, some people find it really funny and I'm just sat there going, I'm, I'm not one of these people that are, okay, right, yeah, you've pulled out the ambulance and the, the fire brigade because that's just a, a, that's a given that, you know, they shouldn't have got them people out. But it's just the fact that they're so dumb and stupid and then they're larking about straight away in front of the paramedics and the fire brigade about what they've just done. And I, Flipping YouTubers, man, just drive me up the wall. So I'm, I'm glad you guys have heard about it in in passing, I suppose. It was it appeared on my Twitter feed. Yeah, I think I think it was one of those things because I follow local emergency services because then I know if like you know roads are going to be blocked and shit when I got to get my bus and stuff. I found it kind of helpful for that reason, if nothing else. And it was on one of them. I forget which, but one of them tweeted about it and there was like a link to the story. Yeah. So I then went on the link and went, was just like, what? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's bizarre. There's also a, a, a roof topper. Have you ever heard of roof toppers? No. Is that a sexual thing? No. <laughs> <laughs> Euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> No, there's a, a, a Chinese guy, he's a roof topper, and he's been doing stunts at the tops of roofs. And I think he was trying to do pull-ups on the edge of a roof, and he ended up filming his own death by falling oh. off. I think it was a, about a month ago. And, you know, have you guys ever seen these videos where they climb up big tall buildings and... Do lots of selfies up the top. No, I, I can't say that I have. <laughs> no, I think the only ones I'm aware of is Fathers for Justice doing silly things on buildings. Oh no, there's people that go higher than that. Think about the the Kuala Lumpur twin towers. People climb up to the top of them and then do selfies. And yeah, there's there's a right. lot of crazy Russian people out there that like to do press ups on the edge of buildings. Where Wasn't there death... someone who died taking a selfie falling off a cliff? Most probably. Most probably. I've I've seen a few, and there's one where a guy is standing on the edge of a building, 
and he lowers his girlfriend down by her hand and then does pull-ups with her on the edge of a building. And all I can think of is, if that was my daughter, I would kill you. Yeah. Yeah. I would, oh, I, I don't even want to know what I would do if I found that out. It's just so dumb. And it's all just for YouTube clicks. And the annoying thing about what he did, this guy that fell off the roof, he's fil- filming in portrait. Dick. Utter <sighs> dick. Because <laughs> that's the worst thing about it. That, that's the biggest crime about it, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I, I suppose he caught himself going down a bit further, but, you know, he's still in portrait, man. Now, come on. <laughs> Oh, ah. they, they will never learn. They will never learn. <laughs> anyway, right. Should we get on with this uh, either or? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, right. I'm going to set the alarm. Hang on. I've forgotten how to set my alarm. Right. Here we go. Right. Setting the alarm now. Right. We've got 45 minutes to do this either or. Now, I've got this website open, and if anyone wants to join in, they're more than welcome to. It's called either... Dot io and it has would you rather questions in a, there's a blue category and the red category and the one i have in front of me at the moment i think it's just the one that opens up I, I i don't know what you guys have got in front of you but i've got would you rather run 25 or 26 miles or swim 5 miles swim you'd rather Less swim effort water's buoyant really I I would rather run. No, I only ever <laughs> run for a bus. <laughs> Pete, what would you rather do? How far am I supposed to be swimming? Five miles. <laughs> That's not happening. I can barely <laughs> swim a fraction of that. I just generally, when I, if if I have to go swimming and I try to avoid it, you know, if I'm in a swimming pool, I can get from one end to the other by just drowning slowly enough to have made it to the end and not drowned. Mm-hmm. Swimming, so I'll have to yeah. run, I guess. Swimming is its harder than you think, I, th- I think. Well, it is when you've got zero coordination like me. Mm. Yeah. So no, I'm, I'm, I, I, I like swimming. Swimming's cool. I could swim for... But then you wanted to live under the sea. I did, yes. Oh, oh okay. You, you've poked my interest already. Why, why do you want to live under the sea? Well, like Ariel. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, we've got the whole lyrics about this, haven't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, basically, I have slight, it's only slight, negative buoyancy, which means that when you when I lie in water, I don't float. Most people naturally float. I sink slightly. Mm-hmm. So I learned to swim under the water. And basically, it takes me a lot more effort than most people to swim with my head above the water because I'm fighting to stay up as well as fighting to go along. So I tend to, my family nicknamed me the dolphin because I would swim under the water and come up for air. Um, <laughs> and I just, I, so I spent more time in a, in a pool or in the sea or also I've done lots of what they call it now wild swimming. We used to go swimming in rivers and lakes and stuff when I was a kid. And, um, and, and, and you I also had talking goggles on. I'm always fascinated by what was under the water. <laughs> and yeah, I just, when I was a kid, I wanted to live there. Right. Remarkable. You want strange things when you're a kid. When I was a little, little kid, I wanted to marry a horse. So, you know. <laughs> you came close. <laughs> had to settle for an ass. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> uh, as Sebastian once said, down where it's better, down where it's wetter. <laughs> yeah. Under the sea. Okay. So, right. So, since it is uh, two against one, I'm going to go with uh, running. So, that is, yeah, I was just supposed to click on that. Why did it go to the next question? Oh, I have to click that way. Okay, right, fine. Have you got one in front of you then? Yeah, I've got one. Go on then. It's, would you rather be a vampire or a werewolf? Oh. Vampires are cooler, aren't they, really? Yeah, the thing is, though... With a werewolf, you're only kind of fucked up for a few nights a month, which is like most women's lives anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> whereas if you're a vampire, it's like all the time. 
it, it, it would be a bit difficult in in my occupation being a vampire. I, it's quite hard to avoid crosses. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be dead quite quickly. Well, more dead. <laughs> Would you just be standing there smouldering slowly? Yeah. <laughs> and holy water as well. Oh, damn, yeah. I'm really trying to love it if I'm a vampire. <laughs> I, I think I'd have to go with vampire personally because I think they are cooler. They... You know, why wouldn't you want to be a vampire? That's my question. Well, not going out in sunlight and living for so long that all your friends and all the people you care about are long dead. And also the whole drinking blood thing. Oh, no Killing people, drinking blood. We don't I necessarily th- have to kill them. I think you Just get used to it. <laughs> or, or eat a lot of black pudding. Does yeah. that work for vampires, black pudding? I don't know. But if uh, if what you do in the shadows is anything to go by, you can't have chips. No, that's true. That's a tragedy. Okay, you're going to have to remind me of that. Oh, because there's the scene where he vomits because he has chips, doesn't he? And he just vomits vast quantities of blood. Oh, that's right, yes. And he's going, I really like chips as well. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see a scene of a vampire going into a butcher's and asking for lots of black pudding now. Yeah. It's a problem solved. Damn, that's well, a clever way of doing it. But then, isn't it, but black pudding isn't human blood, though, is it? No. But does it have to be human blood? It does in the Kim Newman's Anno Dracula series. You can only get by for so long as, like, an emergency with another animal's blood. It needs to be human blood. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I, I I personally would go with vampire anyway. I think werewolves are just a bit. I don't know. I no, it's just not for me. Vampires are you so. You get to kind cooler. of be a dog for a couple of days a month. No. Yeah, that means licking your bollocks. <laughs> nice. Well, I wouldn't because no, I wouldn't. obviously you wouldn't. I mean, I don't. I don't know what I'd do what I was doing. Also, this is a thing. If you're a werewolf, according to the folklore and that, do you remember the werewolfy stuff when you're not a werewolf? Ooh. We need Jim. Because <laughs> I think that would make a difference. Because, like, if I didn't remember, then I'd probably go for werewolf. But if I remembered all the weird shit, because dogs are stupid mostly, aren't they, really? And if I remembered all the stupid things I'd done as a dog, it would be like I'd spend all the rest of the month like going, feeling all the shame you normally feel with a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> Big puppy eyes everywhere. Yeah. And then, oh. aren't you cute? Oh, no, I shagged you. Or whatever, when you go <laughs> stroke a dog or something. I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I'm just I'm not imagine- a dog. No, I'm just imagining. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I'm married to you. I can't be a vampire for very long either. No, no, no. Vampirism isn't going to work, is it? No. So I think we're both have, going to have to be werewolves, yeah. aren't we? Okay. Uh, okay. So what you got to do is click on the, the werewolf one and then let us know how many voted for that one. Okay. What sort of percentage? Well, I'm trying to. I don't think it works on a phone. It says, was it 51? Yeah. It says 51, but oh. it, it's not letting me actually click anything. Okay. Is there a little arrow to the left or to the right of it as well? A tiny little arrow to skip on to the next question. Yes, I can see next. Okay, wait, I think if it's got the 50, I think that's the one that you're presented with first off. And then, so you get the idea of what you're doing and then... Oh, you move okay, on to the now I've got one. you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Right, well, I'm, I'm going to do my next one then. Would you rather eat only buffalo wings for the rest of your life, or buffalo wings? Or buffalo dr- don't have wings. Fish <laughs> don't have fingers. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Or only, uh, or drink only buffalo sauce for the rest of your life. Why would you want to drink sauce? Euphemism. <laughs> it's buffalo sauce. What I think it is. <laughs> Who wants to drink buffalo jizz anyway? <laughs> 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 I'm all for the not drinking mm. buffalo jizz. Hairy jizz. <laughs> it, 
Well, it, does it come out hairy? <laughs> well, I can't, well, yeah, I suppose it might not. It, like little tribbles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, don't, I, I think I'd see. You get bored of. No, I'd have to go with the buffalo wings. I couldn't yeah. not. I couldn't drink buffalo sauce for the rest of my life. No, I'd be sick. Stupid. Yeah. But think of all the other foods that you wouldn't have to, well, wouldn't be able to eat. I'll just liquidise them and drink them and cheat. No. Still get the flavour. I reckon if you did that, it'd still be buffalo wings. Somehow it'd just end up being buffalo wings. I still don't know what buffalo wings are. Is it is that a sort of chicken? I think it's sort of barbecue beef, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe it is. Now I don't I'm know. Thinking, I'm, right, I'm gonna have to Google buffalo wings because yeah. You now... don't Google McDonald's. Buffalo wings, right? It's, it's clearly a an American thing, isn't it? Ah. Uh... Because I just can't get my head around the idea that I would be drinking sauce. Surely, if you've just had like two drinks of sauce, you're throwing up. Surely, I don't. Buffalo wing is a is a cuisine of the United States. is an unbreaded chicken wing that's generally oh. dipped in uh, deep fried and then coated in a sauce consisting of vinegar based hot pepper sauce and me- uh, melted butter. That sounds nice. I, yeah, I'd have to go with a buff. Uh, I'd eat only yeah. buffalo wings for the rest of my life. Yeah. yeah, I can live with that. Okay, right. I'm going to click on that, and wow, 92 percent went with that answer. Mm. There we go. Okay, so what have you got next? Have you got one? No. No, you haven't. All oh, right. Well, I've got. Would you rather have an average house in the middle of a city, or have a mansion miles away from civilization? I want to live in a city because I can't drive and also I can't see without streetlights and I get hay fever and I don't like rural. Well, and, Matt, rural's great for you. And also a mansion miles away from civilization that's just a horror movie waiting to happen. Right. That's what they're for. Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh... The weird thing is uh, that you're living in a city and I'm miles f- from everywhere anyway. So I think we've got our perfect answer already, haven't we? Pretty much. Yeah, I'd rather have the mansion in in the middle of nowhere. No. I need people oh, and transport. No. no. And lights and roads and, and pubs. Pubs. No, I don't like the general public as a whole anyway so i'd rather steer clear of them so i'm quite happy in a mansion miles away from anyone else (laughs) so what about you you're with me with yeah yeah, okay so if i click on that answer yep nothing's happened oh balls (laughs) try again oh no 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 37 percent. most people agree with you yeah get in there you go see i'm amazed those people have internet connections (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the first thing you'd lose, really, isn't it? Yeah. Fuck that. Oh, no. I'm, I'm kind of changing my mind now. <laughs> <laughs> you got one now? Yeah, okay, right. Would you rather always drive under the speeding limit or always drive over the speeding limit? But you're not able to do the actual speedy limit. No, you're you're either stuck below the speeding limit or you're stuck above the speeding limit at all times. Well, I can't actually drive, so I think <laughs> it's probably safer for everybody if I'm below. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pete, can you drive? Yes. Okay. And what? Well, okay. How do you normally drive? Normally, I, I drive just above. Because that's the way people drive in London. I mean, if you actually drive on the speed limit, or or worse still, lower, then you've got you know beeping horns and people driving into the back of you every five minutes. So, mm. oh yeah, very correct. Yeah. So, what would you rather do? Would you rather be always under or always over? I guess I'm always over generally. So, yeah, I think 
I think I'd rather be just over. But it, it just says, yeah, sod it. Let's, if we hit people, we hit people, don't we? 44% agree with us. 56% uh, do gooders always drive underneath the speed limit. Or they're like me and actually can't drive and it would be safer for everyone. Yeah, possibly, yeah. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> okay, right, what, what's the next one that you got? Uh, would you rather have a lisp or have a lazy eye? I've got a lazy eye. Oh, you all sorted then. Yeah. Oh. But it's not an obvious lazy eye. I presume they're talking about the sort of lazy eye when... You know, you don't know which eye to look at when you're talking to somebody. Yeah, I mean, it only gets like that. And that's why I wear glasses um, for if I'm concentrating. Otherwise, it, it wanders off. Um, and I, I have got photos of me as a kid with one eye looking forward and one looking around the corner. Really? Yeah. All right. Can you move them independently of each other? That's a serious question because my, my cousin can. I Ooh. honestly don't know. I've never tried. <laughs> um, I probably could have done when I had my... Well, no, I don't think so because the cause of my lazy eye is a combination of the shape of the eyeball and weak muscles around that eye. Mm -hmm. So probably the one that's lazy, I've, I couldn't control it, if you see what I mean, independently. Mm. Do you ha When you have your eyes tested, do you have like a, a stigma? That they, they point astigmatism, out. yeah, it's, yeah. and it shifts on its axis, axis, so glasses can't correct it completely, or at least not for very long. Yeah, because when I had, and my... it's one of the reasons why I can't see in three D because I don't have binocular vision. So my two eyes don't work together. Oh wow, wow! I'm learning so much. <laughs> I when I had um, my eyes checked years and years ago, they had they said that I had a, a stigmatism. One of my eyes did the rocking backwards and forwards up and down, whereas the other eye did it left to right. Ooh. But I, I don't know what that means. They said it's, it's quite unusual to have, but I, I don't know. I don't know what that means. You know, it's my first time there, so yeah, okay, fine. It's just just normal, isn't it? It's just normal. It's, so, what, it's what you're used to, yeah. Yeah. So, um, okay, so what was the question again, sorry? Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather have a lisp or a lazy eye? Okay. See, lisps can be quite endearing as well. So can lazy eyes, but, you know, mm, I don't know. It depends on the nature of the lisp, doesn't it? Because yeah. if it, if it, like, John Pert, we had a lisp, didn't he? Mm hmm And he sounded all right, but you get some people and it really doesn't sound so good. Yeah, I think I'd rather go with a lazy eye. Oh, hmm. Sorry, I'm going to go with you guys. Lazy eye. Lazy eye. Yeah. So, yet again, we're in the minority here because it's only 35% of people go for the lazy eye, apparently. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Okay, right, I'm going to move on to my next one then. Would you rather... Oh, God, this isn't... Well, is it an easy one? This is an obvious would you rather. Would you rather... Be able to fly or be able to breathe underwater? Mm. Guess which one I'm going for. <laughs> nuts. I don't know. The seaweed is always greener than somebody else's. Don't, Disney or Sue. <laughs> yeah, they, they'll have their feelers out everywhere. So what one are you going for as if I didn't know? I want to be able to breathe underwater. Breathe underwater. And, why? And then why? I can live under the sea. <laughs> I I think I'd rather be able to fly. Yeah. I wish I could fly right up to the sky, but I can't. He's not going to sue, let's face it, he's dead. <laughs> 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 and, and he couldn't fly, as proved. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, the breathing underwater, though, it doesn't say how deep you can go with that that's the problem see if you can breathe yeah, underwater that, that, the, the problem with going deep is pressure yeah rather than how you're breathing so it would depend on things like your bone structure and stuff as to how deep you could go okay so now you've been given the magical ability to breathe underwater 
how deep would you want to go and where would you want to stay? Oh, right. I would want to be on like the ocean floor, but where you can, you still got a, re- a, not, a reasonable amount of sunlight on the ocean floor. So not in the depths where it's all dark. Mm. So a bit, but I would have, I'd be on the on the sandy bottom or in the the coral, or maybe living in a cave, a natural sea cave, and then I would come out and be with all the fishes and things. Ah, uh, okay, so yeah, hanging around corals and yeah. re- reefs. Yeah, that that's that sort of thing, and and swimming with turtles and occasionally dolphins, and then maybe I'd find a turtle that was going near the beach and hitch a ride, and then go and do my shopping and stuff. <laughs> ah, and then you die because you're out of the water. No, it doesn't say that you can breathe underwater and you can't breathe air. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> any more than it says that if you choose to fly, you no longer have the ability to walk. Oh, nuts. I, I didn't think about that. I can, I, I'm presuming I'm now an amphibian. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right, then. So I'm going to go with fly. Pete, you're going with fly, yes? I'm going to go with flying, definitely. I've yeah, always okay. wanted to be able to fly. Right, okay. Yeah, I, I think I'd rather just go fly. So I'm going to go with that one. Oh, 72% with, uh, went with going, uh, wanted to be able to fly. Only 28% wanted to breathe underwater. So, you know, the, the sky is more crowded than the sea. Well, I'll be happier there then, won't I? <laughs> with all my fishies. Exactly. Right, okay, what else you got? Oh, I've got an excellent one. Would you rather drink only water or alcohol... For the rest of your life, or drink anything other than alcohol for the rest of your life. I'm on the water and alcohol. That's fine by me. It's a no-brainer, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, yeah. Okay, water and alcohol, definitely. Yeah, I think. That's well, that's pretty, pretty much our diet anyway. <laughs> it is a bit. Oh, 26. Do all these people, do they like they do these things? They Because you had the speed limit one mm. and they and, and now it's 26% agree with us and 70 something percent. Are they all like Puritans or something? Or the, or the data being sent off to the government, perhaps they're worried. <laughs> Somebody will turn up on the door. Who's the one who's speeding then? Oops. Oh, there you go. Who's the speeding pisshead who wants yes. to fly? <laughs> 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 Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. My next one. Uh, I have. Would you rather have the voice of Pee Wee Herman and dress perfectly, or have the voice of Morgan Freeman and dress terribly? Oh, Morgan Freeman every time. Uh, but either would be fucking odd for me. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> it would be a bit would distracting. It? If I sounded like either of them, so can I have nice clothes? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think with this, you can either keep your mouth shut and look amazing, or yeah. just end up on the radio and you know just never wear anything. I don't know. I don't know where I go. I I like having nice clothes, but you know it's been years since I've had nice clothes. You know, I'm I'm a parent now. I. I don't buy for me at all. I don't know. No, I'll, I'll go with the voice of Morgan Freeman and dress terribly. See, if if the voice was a woman mm. who sounded good, I'd go with that one. Oh, okay. Who can we go with? The female equivalent of Morgan Freeman. I can't think who does the most voiceovers. I don't know. Sandy Toxvik. I can't think what she sounds like, to be honest. She's a bit squeaky. Bit bit nasally. Yeah. That Judy old. Dench? She's a bit old. <laughs> yeah, so is Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. There you Judy go. She's in his seventies at least. Judy Dench is in her eighties. Uh-huh. I'd rather sound like I suppose I'd probably rather sound like Judy Dench. Than Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Than Morgan Freeman. <laughs> that would be or, less weird. Oh, I don't know. I don't know who's got a bad voice who's female. Bonnie Langford. If there's oh. a choice between fucking Bonnie Langford and Judy Dench, I'm going with Judy Dench, I think. Wow. Oh. Okay. In every sense. Eight <laughs> 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 <H> be damned. <laughs> 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 
So you're you're dressing terribly for the rest of your life, then, yeah? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Pete, where are you going? <laughs> Pete, where do you sit on this? I, I, I sit on the. I've never dressed well, so why is that going to bother me? <laughs> okay, so you're going for Morgan Freeman as well. Morgan um, Freeman, yes, right. And seventy five percent of people agree with us. Cool. So there we go. Right. Have you got another one? Yeah. Would you rather wake up in a bathtub full of ice missing a kidney, starting well, or what? wake up in a public bathroom with a handful of singles and a really lazy eye? <laughs> what? I can't see how those are at all comparable. No. no. Wake That's... up in a public bathroom with a handful of singles and a really lazy eye. It's weird. <laughs> Uh, one thing I forgot to mention on this website, you can submit questions. <laughs> so you, you can submit your own one on this. Uh, this sounds like a drunk addition from someone. Yes, it does. I'm Move like, on to I the don't... next one then. Okay, I've got, would you rather, for the rest of your life, eat nothing but dog treats or eat nothing but cat food? Oh, well, you've tried both, haven't you? No, I've tried cat treats, cat biscuits. Um, Meow Mix is quite nice. Um, and I have also tried dog biscuits, the ones that come in the different colours, and there's usually five colours in a packet, and they're okay. Cat food puts me off. It reminds me too much of corned beef, which I don't like. Um, so, but then dog treats in ch- include chews. I'd break my teeth on them, wouldn't I? Hmm. I think so, I yeah. I think I'm tending towards dog treats because of the smell of cat food. <laughs> Do you guys have cats? We have one of each, cat and a dog. Right, okay. Oh. I, th- I think I'd rather eat cat food. It always... I never had a problem with the smell of cat food ever, and yeah, yeah, I, I'd have to go with the cat food. No other what reason. Oh, I get I think dog treats, and I'll pretend they're biscuits. Okay, come on. Oh, seventy-seven percent. We're in the majority on this dog one. Treats. Dog mm. treats. Yeah. Uh, always the dog lovers, isn't there? It's always the <laughs> dog lovers. Right, well, I have one here, and it says, Would you rather find a book about everything about the past or find a book about everything about the future? Well, one of those is going to earn you a lot of money. Mm, exactly. But imagine all the stuff you could learn from the past. Yeah, but it's not going to earn you any money. No, it's... it's... Oh, you're all yeah, about the money, are we? Yeah, but think about that, that guy, and he, he's... He turned up and said all these things and then he'd come back in time from the wrong year don't you remember and they got they arrested him was it in canada what somebody's invented time travel man. But they, he said he started saying that all these things were going to happen and then but he thought it was 2018 or 2019 and it wasn't and he said then he said he got the wrong year what and i'm just thinking that if that guy's anything to go by knowing all this shit isn't going to help you because no fucker will believe you so we've now got an incompetent time traveller in our midst. Possibly. <laughs> Please tell me he walked into a bar and went, what year is this? Because you'd yeah. have to, wouldn't you? You would. Yeah, I think you would. Yeah. Oh, no, actually, no, you'd walk in and go, excuse me, could you tell me the day? And they'll go, yeah, it's, it's, it's Tuesday. And the year? And then you'd just be stumped looking at the person going, you're a time traveller. And there's a slight smell of sulphur around him. You know, yeah, <laughs> you're, you're a time traveller. <laughs> I've oh, totally forgotten just, the question now. <laughs> you just find a news, newspaper that we should have the date on. It's what Doctor Who usually does. Yeah, yeah. So it's about know, knowing about the future or knowing about the past. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I've got the question in front of me, haven't I, idiot? Um, yeah, so what would you rather have? A book about everything about the past or everything about the future? Future. 
I, I would tend towards the past because I don't know, want to know the future because it would probably... I mean, think, think about how would you feel if two years ago you'd known about Donald Trump? How depressed would you have been <laughs> and how much joy would have been sucked out of your life knowing in advance that, that was going to happen? I'd rather go with the past. Ah, uh, but on the flip side of that, at least you'd be able to prepare yourself for the future. So if you knew Donald Trump was popping in, then you'd have two years and or three or five years and you'd you'd know that that was coming. So you could you could balance your life out and other stuff out before that event actually happened. It only makes a difference if you've got the power to change it. If you haven't got the power to change it, it's worth knowing. Yeah, but you can also prepare for it as, as well, though, can't you? Uh, I don't know. I would still... If it was knowing the future and it, and knowing it gave you the power to change it, if it was going to be shit, I'd go with the future. Mm. But just knowing it with no power to make any difference to it, no, I'd rather look at the past. Okay. Well, I'm going for the future anyway. Pete, you're with the future as well, yes? I am, yeah, and then down the bookies. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> Okay, 76% agree with us, Pete. Ah, no surprise. Yeah, I guarantee you that they're all down the bookies as well. Oh, okay. Right, have you got another one there, or would you like me to read another one out? I've got, would you rather attend Hogwarts or... Uh, Professor Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters. So basically, it's Harry Potter or X Men. Ooh. I'm not very au fait with either universe, really. I, well, it's I quite simple I know because enough. one of them enables you to hang out with Hugh Jackman, so know which one I'm going for. <laughs> I think I'd probably go for the same one, but just on the basis that, you know, if I had a superpower of telekinesis or something, then I'd, I'd move. Patrick Stewart out of his wheelchair and ride round in it round the school because it would be fun. You get expelled pretty quick, I think. Probably, unless I also am like Mystique and I could look like someone else and blame them. <laughs> Every time you farted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet that's what Mystique uses her power for all the time. <laughs> And every time she farts, she does that little ruffle thing as well with her yeah. body. <laughs> That's what causes Wasn't it. Me? <laughs> it's the air being expelled from her ass ruffles everything. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about her is she constantly naked. Well, yeah, when she's not, uh, you know, taking on another form. So when she takes on another form, does her skin become the clothes? Yeah. So she is constantly naked yeah basically wow that's a nice thought right yep i'll have that one <laughs> <laughs> well yeah no you know, wizards they're, they're a bit rubbish aren't they yeah they, they can throw about sparkly powder around but mm, no nah. never really I, i've always thought harry potter i always thought i should like harry potter but never have I'm listening to the audiobooks at the moment and quite enjoying them. But the films, no, they they just don't grab me. So I, I think I'm going to go with the X-Men universe. Yeah. I like both, um, but I would, you know, the thought of a sort of being in a cold castle and also all that shit stuff happens to the kids at Hogwarts anyway. And they have Dolores Umbridge as a teacher and things. So... Well, to be fair, the X-Men are constantly being carted off by the government, aren't they? So it's not good either. I suppose. But I, I just think I'd rather be one of the X-Men. That's, yeah, so X-Men are cooler, cool. definitely. Yeah, okay, so go with that one. No, most of them would rather be in Harry Potter. Mm. 41%. Oh, wow. I think we know the demographic uh, uh, playing this game now, don't we? Well, probably, huh? Yeah. That, that surprises me, idiots. <laughs> anyway, okay, right, I have another one. If you were forced to eat in a certain way, would you rather eat soup for every meal only with your face? <laughs> or As opposed to your ass. <laughs> or stab your tongue with a fork every time you ate. What? 
the, the non-stabby option, please. Yeah. So you've so you've got you're gonna eat soup for every meal with your face. So no yeah. cutlery. Rather than stabbing myself, yeah. Okay. I mean, neither of them are overly sensible options. It has to be said. You have the risk of drowning in soup, though. And it's also going to be full of beardy bits, but, you know, it's better than a blooming fork on the tongue. You just, you don't have to drown in soup. Your tongue is part of your face. Make like a dog and lick. <laughs> you and dogs tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so we're going with face and soup, yeah? Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. okay. Oh wow, seventy eight percent agree with you idiots. I mean you you people. <laughs> yeah, because there's no pointy fork business going on. <laughs> oh dear. I hate it when I bite my tongue, let alone a bum and fork in it, guy. Oh, okay, right, I'm gonna read this one out really quickly. Would you rather go back in time and correct the single biggest mistake of your life or go way back in time and come up with the Pythagorean theorem before Pythagoras, so you can have the equation named after you. That sounds far too nerdy. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't give Correct a fuck mistake. about equations being named after yeah. me, particularly because also he wasn't really, really famous until like he was already dead. So you know, what's the point? Yeah, it's, it's about triangles, though, isn't it? You know, it's, it's yeah. I'd rather go back in time. Ooh. Bermuda Triangle. You make things disappear. Mm. Yes. I don't know. Just, yeah. I would go back and correct mistakes. Yeah. Correct the single biggest mistake of your life. I think we'll, we'll go with that one. It'll take a while to narrow it down, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. 75% agree with us on that one. Cool. Okay, right, what you got? It's a bit of a weird one. Would you rather give up buttons and zips or Velcro and knots? Oh, that's a good one. I'd give up Velcro and knots because I don't... Other than shoelaces. You was going to say, how are you tying your laces? Yeah, that's the downside with that. Because all the but shoes that other... don't have laces have Velcro. So um, what, what shoes are you wearing? Otherwise, you, your fly is permanently open and your trousers keep falling down. Braces? <laughs> I'm not wearing braces. Braces are cool. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> they're just asking for somebody to pull them and twang them on your nipple. I've just realised that all my footwear is either slip-on or zips. So I'm going with keep buttons and zips and give up Velcro and knots because I don't actually need Velcro or laces to wear shoes. I don't want my trousers falling down, so I'm not giving up buttons. Okay, what about you? I I, I like my zips too much. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're all going with Velcro and knots is what we're giving up. 72% agree with us. Excellent. Yeah. I, no, there's no way I can give up zips. Buttons. Uh, where uh, would we be without Zippy? <laughs> You just wouldn't be able to shut him up, would you? No. Well, he'd be called Velcro, presumably. <laughs> yeah, and he'd get all his food stuck in all them horrible little things in his mouth. Ugh. Well, also as well, think of what he's made of. He'd get his hands stuck in his mouth, wouldn't he? Because he'd stick to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, George, I'm, uh, my hand is stuck in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Just tug on it. <laughs> oh dear. Right, okay, I'm gonna do it. Pete, have you got one there? Or or shall I go on with this one? Go go for it. Okay. Would you rather talk only in an auto tuned voice uh -huh. or talk in a stereotypical grandma voice? Ooh. Grandma, I think, just because of how much I hate auto tuning. Yeah. Yeah. It would be pretty freaky if I was talking in a grandma voice, but at least I wouldn't hate myself. 
yeah, I think you'd despise the the sound of your own voice if it's auto tuned yeah. constantly, yeah. wouldn't you? That's just it's just too unnatural. It's like nails down a blackboard for me. Mm. Yeah. Okay, right, so we're all going with grandma then. <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> Back to Judy Dent, shall we? I didn't expect to say that sentence tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Seventy-eight percent disagree with us. The fools. They are. They are all fools. Well, it explains what what how many blooming records there are of auto tuning, though, doesn't it? That's uh, yeah. That's great. Right. What what else you got? I'm not sure it's particularly amusing, but we've got. Would you rather have a holiday in Russia or in China? Oh. Uh, China. Yeah, I think the food's better. It's not as cold, is it, in China? Well, it depends which bit of China you're in. Okay. China's bigger, isn't it? I think so. So, therefore, you could potentially have a more varied holiday? Yeah. I don't... I don't think China's bigger than Russia. To the Atlas! Diddly. I don't. I think there's more people in China. I yeah. Don't, I don't think the area is bigger than Russia. Hey, I failed geography, so what do I know? See, I th- I could be wrong, but I think that China is bigger than just Russia. And mm-hmm. our problem is we tend to think of Russia as being the whole former USSR, and Russia's smaller than that. Right. I'm just googling. Is Russia <laughs> bigger? Yeah. Than... But, I mean, I could I could be wrong, but that's my sort of. I wonder if it's going to be close. There's people listening to this going, utter idiots. Of course it's this. <laughs> Particularly considering somebody's got a geography degree. Yeah, Ru- geography, not cartography. Russia is the world's biggest country by land area. There oh, we go. okay. China claims... Even when you take all the other bits away. Uh, China's claim to territory dispute... Oh, oh that's boring. Mm. Oh, hang on. Ah, okay. No, that's not boring. China's claim to territories disputed by other countries, especially India, will determine which of the two countries is bigger than the other. So it depends on what side of the the, the fence you're sitting on, really. Okay. But the first line of that paragraph is Russia is the world's biggest country. Okay. Fair enough. I still I still think I probably would rather have a holiday in China, though. Hmm. And you've got Bandit. a great wall there as well. Yeah. yeah, and like loads of their art is dragons, which is cool. Mm. Yeah, okay, yeah, go with the China one then. Okay. 52%, so very close. Okay. Okay, right. Moving on to the next one then. Would you rather death by freezing in Antarctica... Or death by walking through the Sahara. Oh, as I get older, I cope less with the cold. So yeah, I'll boil. Thank you. I think that you die quicker by freezing in Antarctica, and if I have to die, I want it to be quick. Oh, okay. So I, I kind of have the casting vote on this then. Mm. Okay. Well, I, I can't stand being cold, but the thought of dying due to heat in the Sahara terrifies me. I would rather try and keep myself warm in the Antarctica and fail than rather than than die in the Sahara. So I'm going with Antarctica. I'd rather die by freezing. So how many agree with that? Sixty seven agree. Sixty seven percent agree with dying by freezing in Antarctica. There we go. Right, so what, what other one have you got there? I've got, assuming you're in a temperate climate, which is like basically our climate, would you rather wear a ski suit all the time or go everywhere barefoot? Hmm? So some of the time, sometimes of the year, wearing that ski suit is going to be a good thing, but there are going to be times of the year when wearing a ski suit is going to be really bad. Mm. And similarly, going everywhere barefoot, in the winter you'll get frostbite on your feet, but I, 
in the summer you might be all right and yeah i don't know i think you'd get used to going in barefoot though wouldn't you yeah you'd have to adjust to it but you could do it i think yeah i think so i think it how long do you reckon it'd take i don't know i don't know i reckon after six weeks you'd be kind of getting used to it maybe yeah. even less than that i think i'd probably go with barefoot because i wouldn't want to be in a ski suit in the summer again i'd rather be hot mm. yeah I, oh I, I don't know i'd rather have barefoot yeah okay 69 percent agree with us Oh, nice. Nice. These people clearly don't feel the cold. Yeah. Well, you never used to. I know. Right, I've got five seconds. So, would you rather fight a shark with a bear arms or fight a bear with shark arms? <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> we'll never know. Right, there we go. Timer has played out. So, yeah, we we would never know whether you'd rather fight a shark with bear arms or fight a bear with shark arms. <laughs> shark don't have arms. This one does. <laughs> the one fighting you, yeah, it, it does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that's also the thing as well, is how are you hearing that? Is it that you have the bear or shark arms or what you're fighting has the bear or shark arms? I think you're fighting a shark with bear arms. Now, does that mean bear arms? Yeah, with your own bear arms. Oh, <laughs> it's too late. No, I can't work this out. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much for, for joining me for that. That was excellent. I thoroughly oh, enjoyed that. Oh, I, I brought Kaplunk, but I think this is better. Oh, there you go. Excellent. <laughs> Emery, what would what game would you have taken to school if Pete brought Kaplunk? What would you have brought? When I was a kid, I think I nearly always bought Operation. Oh, nice. Excellent. What about you? What did I bring? Do you know? I think I brought chess once. Oh, yeah, I was that kid. <laughs> what a dick! I really have n never been not a dick, have I? Christ. <laughs> oh. Anyway, so thank you very much for, for joining me for this. It's been excellent. Thank you to everyone in the chat room. Sorry we haven't been diving on to the chat room, but you know, we've been reading the, the internet, which not is more important, but you know, kind of helped us along the line playing this game. Uh, guys, have you got anything to plug? And please plug away on anything you want. Well, there's the broadcast. There is the broadcast, which is covering Star Trek Deep Space Nine at the moment. Well, there is a Christmas thingy coming out. On, uh, it'll be out by now, I guess. Uh, it's coming out on Christmas Eve, uh, covering a certain Star Trek movie. Okay. Is that Christmas-related Star Trek movie? Cause I no, it's, it's kind of a Christmas tradition now that we, we, do, we do a live commentary on one of the Trek movies. Ah, and, okay. and we've used up most of the good ones. So. Yeah, we have. <laughs> <laughs> this, this one could be interesting. Ah, oh, so you didn't you didn't just work your way through them. You just been no, 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 cherry no. picking them. Yeah, we, we, I think we started with. Did we start with six? Yes, we started with six because that's the most Christmassy of them. And then and we've we done did two. two. Yeah. So we're not in numerical order at all. Right. Oh, just well played. drunken live commentary, basically. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Well, I will be downloading that, definitely. E Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, you can catch me in all the normal places. Just pop along to rogue2media.com and you can find all the stuff over there. So until next time, thank you to the chat room. Thank you to Pete. Thank you to Anne-Marie. And it just leaves me to say, please leave quietly. This is a residential area. start panicking because he can't breathe <laughs> and so they they get chisels and screwdrivers and at one point they're trying to drill in underneath his chin <laughs> to to break this concrete <laughs> oh and th then it happened i think they they really started panicking and they got the fire brigade and ambulance out 
to to smash it off. Now, I'm quite disappointed they didn't just get the jaws of life and just pop his head clean off. Mm. That would have been a much better ending. <laughs> but yeah, they, they pulled it out and he was, you know, he was having a laugh and he, he was like, oh, my days, I was going to die. I nearly died and all that sort of shit. But yeah, people are actually doing this to get views. And you know, some people find it really funny and I'm just sat there going, I'm, I'm not one of these people that are, okay, right, yeah, you've pulled out the ambulance and the, the fire brigade because that's just a, a, that's a given that you know, they shouldn't have got them people out. But it's just the fact that they're so dumb and stupid and then they're larking about straight away in front of the paramedics and the fire brigade about what they've just done. I mean, I, flipping YouTubers, man, just drive me up the wall. So I'm I'm glad you guys have heard about it in in passing, I suppose. It was it appeared on my Twitter feed. Yeah. I think I think it was one of those things because I follow local emergency services because then I know if like, you know, roads are gonna be blocked and shit when I gotta get my bus and stuff. I found it kind of helpful for that reason, if nothing else. And it was on one of them, I forget which, but one of them tweeted about it. And there was like a link to the story. Yeah. So I then went on the link and went was just like, what? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's bizarre. There's also a a, a roof topper. Have you ever heard of roof toppers? No. Is that a sexual thing? No. <laughs> <laughs> Euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> now there's a, a, a Chinese guy. He's a roof topper and he's been doing stunts at the tops of roofs. And I think he was trying to do pull ups on the edge of a roof and he ended up filming his own death by falling oh. off. I think it was a, about a month ago. And, you know, have you guys ever seen these videos where they climb up big tall buildings and do lots of selfies up the top? No. Uh, I can't say that I have. No, I think the only ones I'm aware of are those fathers for justice doing silly things on buildings. Oh no, there's people that go higher than that. Think about the the Kuala Lumpur twin towers. People climb up to the top of them and then do selfies. And yeah, there's there's a lot of crazy Russian people out there that like to do press ups on the edge of buildings. Where Wasn't there death... someone who died taking a selfie falling off a cliff? Most probably. Most probably. I've I've seen a few, and there's one where a guy is standing on the edge of a building and he lowers his girlfriend down by her hand and then does pull ups with her on the edge of a building. And all I can think of is if that was my daughter, I would kill you. Yeah. Yeah. I would, oh, I, I don't even want to know what I would do if I found that out. It's just so dumb. And it's all just for YouTube clicks. And the annoying thing about what he did, this guy that fell off the roof, he's vil filming in portrait. Dick. Utter <gasps> dick. Because <laughs> that's the worst thing about it. That that's the biggest crime about it, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Be a, like a, a lark with him and two mates, or was it three mates? I forget which. And they they made it. They they padded out a section of the microwave for his head specifically so that he could breathe. But then it was going to break his neck because when they filled it all with cement, it was too heavy or something, and they had to call the fire brigade and get him rescued. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's it's a YouTube. It's like doing their Darwin Awards episode, isn't it, really? It is, yeah. If this has just happened a couple of weeks before, then we would have had this on, definitely. This guy has he's got a a microwave and he thought it was clearly a good idea to, to cement his head into it. Now <laughs> he's just like why? What possesses you? Yeah, uh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll get on to other points about this in a minute because some of them are frightening. Now, they've been doing these, uh, was it 12 days of Christmas? Or they were, they were going to be doing a stunt every week or every every day leading up to Christmas. Now, I've only found out this 
because my son subscribes to his YouTube channel. And they what, try... the, the, the microwave cement head twat man has a YouTube channel. Oh, yes. And they get quite... Is it called microwave cement head twat man? Because if not, it should from now on. <laughs> 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 I, yeah, I might just leave a comment saying that, you know, maybe you should change the name of it. <laughs> 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 but he... Yeah, they, they've been doing them these pranks up and... Or hopefully doing it up until Christmas. And... My boy subscribes to this and he's been watching them and f- finding them hilarious. And this particular one is where they, they get a, a microwave and he says he wants to cement his head into a microwave because, you know, that'll be funny. <laughs> what he actually does is get lots of polyfiller, which isn't quite cement, but it, it's the external polyfiller so it is gritty and it's a bit heavier than the lightweight stuff for indoor decoration but you know frankly this isn't much more sane well yeah i don't think he really knows the difference between them (laughs) and what he's done he's got a pipe so he can breathe so he's thought ahead a little bit (laughs) 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 only a little bit but only until the point where he puts a plastic bag over his head what? To, to protect himself from the cement. Now, <clears throat> then he dips his head into a microwave and his friends... How, how did he put... What, did he just open the door and stick his head in? Yes. And, well, the, the microwave is on the floor and now there's only one way to get his head in and that's to go upside down. They clearly hadn't thought this through. <clears throat> and <laughs> so... <laughs> what? They, they fill the gaps around his head with this polyfiller stuff. And then they realize about 20 minutes in, no, he he can't stand like that forever because, you know, he, he's on his head and all the blood's going to rush to his head. <laughs> 20 minutes after. <laughs> they actually work this out. It's genius. Out of genius. Anyway, so at one point, one of them goes off down the shops to get a hairdryer to to dry this stuff out quicker because it's not going off quick enough. (laughs) Right. And so so they get, they get hairdryer and they, um, start drying out the, the cement slash polyfiller. And then they're really surprised when it goes rock solid. And there's, Mm. there's bits where they're going, Oh my days, it's gone really hard. And like, Oh, honestly, guys, that, what did you expect? Honestly, what did you expect? And then when he stands up and he's like, yes, it's really heavy. Once, once again, (laughs) what did you expect? (laughs) And then, then, oh, then, then shit gets real because then they, hello everyone. And welcome back to Shonky Lab. Yes, we're doing another episode and this is the end of term episode. This is the last episode in 2017. So. Fingers crossed for 2018. Fingers, you know, hopefully it'll be a lot, lot better year than it was. I, I, you know, for you guys, was it was it a good year? My guest producers today. Hello. Yeah, it was for me because I started my new job and it's good Excellent. and it's not really new anymore because I'll have, I'll have had it for a year come January. But yeah, yeah. and it was good for me because we got more beer money as a result. Nice one. So my guest producers today are Anne Marie and we have Peter as well. So you know, thank Hello. you for. Hello. Thank you very Welcome much for to the stepping prize in. Of one. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's that's right. Thank you very, very much for stepping in at the very last moment. Uh, Lee had to to step away for for some reason. I think he he needs a good night's sleep. So yeah, bless his little cotton socks. Oh, <laughs> I knew they'd be an R. Right. So before we get into this, because we're gonna just do. This is our version of pulling out the, the TV and putting our videos on at school. This is our version of pulling in your electronic games and bringing in Ludo and playing that at school because there's, there's no other lessons to do. It's Christmas. It's just around the corner. So we're going to have some fun. And well, I'm hoping this is going to be all right. You know, I've never tried this. It might be a massive car crush. I don't know. I've got fingers crossed though that it, it's going to be good. But before we get into this, and play this game. I just wanted to go through a bit of news. I don't know if you guys heard. Did you hear about the guy that cemented his head into a microwave? Yes! 
in a microwave. What yes. the fuck was that about? Oh, thank goodness someone else knows about this. Well, I, I so I've been trying to speak to people at work about this and trying to find their their opinions on it, and nobody really heard about it. But although it did make national news at, at yeah. one point. He cemented his head in a microwave. Yeah, he's and it was a, it was designed to 